Oh my god, where's my autofocus? I have 10k. Oh my god. Did you get it? Yeah, I got it. What? Someone literally just unsubscribe. Hi guys, it's late and it's a work day, but I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for 10k subscribers. I just am so thankful for every one of you who has subscribed, who has supported me, who has left a really nice comment in the past. It means so much to me, this little community that we have going, and I'm so excited just to make more content and grow with you guys, and yeah. Hi, today we are doing a Q&A kind of video. It's not really a Q&A because I didn't really solicit questions from you guys, but these are some questions that people have commented before and random questions that I found on the internet or questions people have asked me in person. So I figured I would do a video because I've been getting a lot of new subscribers lately and I'm so happy and excited for you guys to join my channel but I realized that you guys don't know that much about me so I thought this would be kind of nice to tell you guys more about my life, share my life with you, become friends maybe. I basically pulled a ton of questions from the internet and there were so many weird questions for like YouTuber tags. Enough chit chat, let's just dive into it. And I have the questions on my phone, so I'm gonna be looking down at some points. I'm still very much present in this conversation. So, the first question is What is your age and what is your name? My name is Sarah, if you did not already know that. And I'm 23 years old. <laughs> Every year after I turn 21, I have just not remembered what age I am. I don't know if it's like a defense mechanism because I don't wanna feel old, but yeah, I'm 23. Next question is, what do you do? Are you in college? I am not in college. I graduated a year and a half ago. And since then, I've been working as a software developer at a search engine company. I will let you guys deduce which company that is. This is not something I saw myself doing a few years back, but I just ended up in this uh, major and then ultimately just got a job at a company and that is what I've been doing. If anyone's curious about being a software engineer or being in the tech industry, let me know because I have so much to say about it. That is my career as of right now. Okay, next question is, can we see your cat more? It's something my friend asked me after he found out that I had a YouTube channel. Um, yes, you can. Let me go get her. This is my cat. This is Gata. She's an eight-year-old short hair mix. Okay. And I got her last year with my roommate in New York. One of my coworkers, her partner, was giving away a cat or two cats. I think one of them unfortunately passed, but Gata was the one that needed a home and so I adopted her with my roommate and I have had her ever since the quarantine. My roommate and I had to split up and then we had to delegate the cat task and so I ended up bringing her to Maryland and she's been living at home with me ever since and look she's so cute. Look, she's usually not this like friendly. She's definitely She's my first cat and she's a really cute cat. She doesn't like to be touched that much. I will say I wasn't a cat person before I got her, but now I am 100% a cat person. Also for any Spanish speakers, I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing Gata wrong, but um, that's the name she came with and Gata means cat in Spanish and I didn't want to change her name. How did your friends and family react to your YouTube channel? So. Obviously I couldn't hide this from my family, like they live with me so they see me film my YouTube videos and I can't, you know, hide it. So my family has known from the beginning and they were not that supportive of it for good reason. I think my first few videos were really crappy so when I actually started getting views my parents saw this a little bit more legitimately and they, okay, they still make fun of me. like. They will literally, if I'm filming and I do something weird, they're gonna be like, why did you burp? Or like, are you gonna keep that in? I'm like, no, I'm not. Like, don't come for me. So they're more supportive now, but occasionally my mom will be like, maybe you should spend this extra time and learn about real estate. Or maybe you should become a real estate agent in your free time. And I'm like, uh, no. <laughs> and then on to my friends. 
I actually didn't tell anyone about my YouTube channel for the longest amount of time. I think sometime in the summer I was on a video call with my friends and I showed them the photos I took for my like photo shoot video and they were like why did you do this and I was like um for no reason except that I had a YouTube video on it and they were like what and then I was peaceful and calm for a couple of months until I did my hair bleaching videos and so many friends that I have not talked to in so long reached out to me and they were like I did not know you had a YouTube channel I don't think I've had any negative experience actually with people that I do know I'm sure there are some classmates from school that know me and they're like judging me but it's whatever the next question is do you have any tattoos or piercings i really want a tattoo like i was planning to get one well i've been planning to get one for so long but i'm scared i love tattoos my parents don't but it's okay i'm older now and i can do whatever i want with myself okay so i don't have any tattoos i really want to get one but i am scared and I don't know what to get because people say you should know what you want to get for at least like three years before you get it. And I haven't had a concrete image of what I want yet. And I don't even know where on my body I want it. So I do have piercings though. So I will give you guys a very quick tour of my piercings. So this is my right ear and you can see I have three lobe piercings. So this one I got when I was in middle school, I think. I don't remember when. This one I got at some point in high school and then this one was more recent so before i got my third lobe piercing i actually got my cartilage piercing so these two i was actually in miami for spring break and i saw this place doing like five buck piercings which in retrospect i definitely shouldn't have gone to but i got these two in miami and then they took so long to heal i swear to god it took me three years for these to heal and i got so many bumps throughout the process it was just terrible that is that is my right ear and then this is my left ear this one i don't have anything fancy i've been meaning to get a conch piercing i just have my three low piercings here also it looks a little crusty so i'm sorry about that so those are my piercings but i really want to get more the ones i do want to get are conch piercing rook nose piercing and another cartilage piercing so that is my piercing tour how many glasses do you have i have a lot of glasses let me get them Oh, actually, they are right here. So let me count these. I have 10 glasses, glasses hanging on my glasses shelf, um, including the ones that I'm wearing. But I think I also have like four more pairs from primary school through middle, high school. I have somewhat of an obsession, if you can tell. Where do I get my glasses? I just pick whatever my optometrist had. In more recent years, I have actually purchased glasses. Is is. <laughs> I have purchased glasses from websites. So this one's from Ace and Tate. Um, I've also tried Firmu and Vugme and GlassesUSA.com. All great websites. But yeah, that's basically where I get my glasses from. Next question, are you full Asian? Yes, I am full Asian to my knowledge. So I was at this conference once and they were giving out free like DNA testing kits um, through Ancestry.com. And so I got one and I was so, I mean, I expected a very vague DNA test result, but it literally just said you're 100% Chinese or Korean. And I was like, well, what am I? Like, that's not the same thing. So yeah, I'm 100% Chinese or Korean. Although I did check it like a few months later and that percentage changed. It was like 70% Chinese and 30% Korean or North Chinese or wherever. I, yeah. So, yeah, I'm full Asian, to answer your question. Ooh, okay, no one asked me for this, but who is the most famous person you've ever met? Aquafina. I met her before she was, well, she was Aquafina at the time, but I met her before she was really big, so before Crazy Rich Asians, and this might have been, this was freshman year of college. She came and she rapped for us, and I was just like, mm. Although at the time I didn't know who she was, so I was like, who is she? And people were like, she's Aquafina, you don't know her? And I was like, no, I don't. But now I know her, and I also have some pictures with her. Okay, what is the favorite hair color you have had? No one's asked me this, but I'm sure someone wants to know. I have had a lot of hair colors in the past, like even before I started filming my bleaching journey, I've had a few hair colors. 
I'm going to say either like red, which I've had before, but it was like a dark red, so it wasn't that noticeable. My hair was so pretty back then and so healthy, and I was just like fried. So I would say either red or pink, the pink that I had a few months ago, and you can find that video on my channel, that with the bangs. Mm, so good and then I didn't write this down but I know someone's gonna ask me what hair color are you gonna do next and I'm probably gonna do blue I'm honestly so surprised that my hair has not fallen out yet but we are here and we can still do some stuff with this um what is your zodiac sign I am a Gemini although I'm not really like a Gemini favorite place I have lived or traveled New York baby I love New York that's all I'm gonna say. No one asked me this question either, but I just wanted to throw it in. TV show suggestions. If you haven't watched The Office, watch The Office. If you haven't watched Parks and Rec, watch Parks and Rec. And Good Place, The Good Place, and Jane the Virgin. I love these shows. You should definitely check it out. Also, if you guys have shows to recommend to me, let me know, because I'm still on my ex's Netflix account, so. I still have access to Netflix. And then last question of today before my battery dies is, do you have anything to say to your subscribers? Uh, hi. There's been a lot of new subscribers and hello to you guys. I welcome, you are, uh, yeah. no, but actually I just wanted to say thank you guys so much. I've been getting so many new subscribers every single day and I hope you guys know that you are welcome here and I love all of you guys and I hope you are doing well. I hope you are healthy, you're drinking water, you're wearing your face mask and using hand sanitizer because those are all important things to do. But also that you guys are very welcome here and I just love you guys. And I hope you guys see me as a person more now that I've done this Q&A and I'm so excited to do more Q&As in the future and next time I will legitimately ask you guys for questions and solicit it from my social media instead of just pulling random questions so follow me on Instagram because that's probably where I'm gonna ask people for questions and yeah thank you guys also I should have said this before but the current sub count I'm at right now is like 9,600 and 48 which is crazy to me that's almost 10k like we're a few hundred off but that's so crazy to me that there are 9,000 of you guys out there that watch me and like care about me I hope <laughs> um, and I care about you guys too and just yeah thank you guys so much and I will see you guys next week if I don't die what okay if I don't die of my work that's what I meant to say okay <laughs> um anyways Thank you guys for watching and I will catch you guys next time. Peace.